Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today, I know I said I was going to continue on with my review series of uh, different distilleries, and that I was probably going to do the Talisker series next. Uh, I decided to stop after that, and um, I, I will continue with that in a couple of videos, but I got five new bottles of whiskey to review, and one of which is the Four Roses Small Batch Select. Um, courtesy of my wife, because my wife is awesome, um, she picked up a bunch of different bottles for me. Um, some of them she probably paid a little bit, um, more than I could have found them for here in town, but, um, you know what? She was really nice and picked them up for me anyways. Dropped like 200 and something bucks on whiskey. She did pick up a replacement of this Boonenhaven. So now we have another one of these finally. Uh, the peated one, uh, absolutely excellent, one of our favorites. Um, but I see I got three different Maker's Mark bottles. Yeah, I have three different Maker's Marks. I got the 101, the cat, or the 101, the 46, and then just the standard Maker's Mark. So I'll probably do a review of those. Then we'll move into, or right, we'll do that, and then we'll do... We'll have to reshoot the Four Roses series, because now we have a fourth one. Um, but, uh, and then we'll move into some of our peated scotches and stuff. So, stay tuned for those. Um, but, first we're going to go with uh, this Sheep Dip, which is uh, a fairly cheap uh, scotch. Now, I think my wife paid, and I'm sorry I don't have this up right now, but she paid 50 she paid 50 something dollars for this and I think I've seen this somewhere in the $40 price range maybe here locally. So unfortunately I sent my wife this huge list like my hit list of whiskey and unfortunately she didn't really know what stuff was that we could find locally versus not. Um, and so I uh, I didn't tell her like hey you know like this rare breed rye. We could have picked that up here locally. Um, I don't know about the Elijah Craig rye. I may or may not have seen that here locally, especially at the cheaper store here in town. Uh, Sheep dip I could have got here locally. Um, I want to again. I want to say in the forties, but uh, waiting for my darn whiskey list to load here. Um, but my wife paid. $54.75 for this, uh, old, it's Oldberry Sheep Dip, it's a blended malt, um, it's, uh, pretty sure this is blended from, sorry about the dead air here, I'm pretty sure this is blended from, um, Amy McLeod, I, I think it's from, um, Speyside, oh no, here, whiskey's from across Scotland, um, for at least five years. So anyways, it's a blended malt product coming in at 43.5% ABV. My wife paid uh, $54.75. I think you can find it cheaper than that for sure. So keep your eye out for that. Um, but it's just really a great, um, a great whiskey. Um, so on the nose, very sweet, caramely, uh, like apple like if you were to just freshly slice into a nice like honey it's more of a granny smith kind of an apple mixed with a butterscotch just a small earthiness like an earthy peatiness not a smoke at all but earthy swampy kind of a characteristic in there it's very nice <clears throat> man actually a lot of really nice characteristics in there going in on the taste excellent um it is sweet, butterscotchy, caramel, kind of buttery, creamy on the tongue. You get some nice light fruit in there. I get a little bit of that earthy, peaty characteristic coming through and just a thread of smoke. Now, I don't know if this is peated at all, um, and I don't want to talk out my butt too much, but it definitely kind of has a little bit of that 
smokiness in the background. I don't know if most people would pick it out, and I'm not even saying that there is smoke in here. It might be, because I'm reading in here, it says, first fill sherry, first fill bourbon, and refill oak cast. It might be some of the char characteristic coming through, and the way that that oak is kind of has just a nice little bite on the back end of it, a little bit of a spice to it. Um, and that might be more of what I'm mistaking for smoke because it's almost kind of like uh, like right now in my mouth kind of like uh the day after of a cigar but like the end part of the day after of, of a cigar so like 24 hours removed um where it's just kind of in the back of your throat but in a pleasant way not in a well oh, i just had a cigar kind of a way um <clears throat> And it's starting to get kind of more of this seasidiness, this almost briny character to the nose now. Yeah, it's it's a very well blended malt. There's no faults to it. Nothing's real spiky or out of characteristic. It kind of rounded off a little bit more. You can tell that's a little bit young. You know, it says at least five years. Like you can pick that out. It's definitely not that 10, 12, 16 year frame. It has a little bit of that sharpness. So the notes aren't spiky, but they're sharp. Like you know where they're at. Um, so it just hasn't, you know, aged out, smoothed out completely, but it does have this nice creamy mouthfeel. This is an excellent whiskey. I'm actually a really big fan of it. I get a little bit of maltiness in there too. Um, yeah. Now I don't. Sorry, honey, if you see this video, I don't think I'd pay $54 for this. But if this was in the low 40s, I would probably pick it up pretty regularly. Um, that's a really nice scotch. I think it's a good, easy sipping scotch. Uh, and it should be available in most places. So go ahead, drop in the comments down below what your thoughts on Sheep Dip are or if you've ever had it. Um, love to hear about it. Uh, if you're checking this video out on YouTube, it's probably, I don't even know, I give up at this point. It's probably 2025 at some point, something like that. I don't know. Um, uh, but if you are watching this on, on YouTube, get over to BitChute. That's where I'm pretty much doing my mainstay videos. Um, they're dropping on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Today is... April 19th, as I shoot this, you might hear from time to time, maybe heavy gust of wind outside. Uh, so we went from 80 degrees three days ago. We got a snowstorm blowing in right now. Um, just kind of spring weather here in the mountains. And um, that's okay. I like spring. Or no, sorry. I like the snow. I like the winter. Not a big fan of spring. Not a big fan of the mud and whatever else. But hey, uh, anything else you want to say, go ahead and drop in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends if you think they would appreciate this kind of content. Um, yeah, I'm curious what you have to say about so uh, about the uh, sheep dip anyway. So go ahead and drop that down below. Next up, I think we're going to do this for roses. So stay tuned for that and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Have a good day.